Today, Tesla took a very important step toward realizing the deliveries of Tesla Semi to the customers. If you remember last month in August, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk said, uh, presented the 500 miles Tesla Semi and said that the deliveries will start late in the year, at the end of 2022. But there are a couple of very important things that we should see before we believe that Tesla Semis will come later this year. First, we need to see mega chargers. In order to, the, to see the mega chargers, we need to hear in the news that permits are, be, are being given for mega charger um, uh, productions, like mega charger construction areas. And the second, we need to see some Tesla Semi service centers. And guess what? Tesla today listed an important message saying, we are looking for experienced service technicians to support the growth of the Tesla Semi service program. If you're looking to expand your horizon or have experience in the HD tracking industry, please see the opportunities below. Tesla is looking for service technicians for the Semi program in Fremont, California, Sacramento, Modesto, Central Valley, and Reno, Nevada. All of them are in California and only in Reno, Nevada, which is in Nevada. So this tells me that the first customers of Tesla Semi will be in Fremont, Sacramento, Modesto, Central Valley, California, and Reno, Nevada area. I'm also thinking that Tesla will use its semis to hold things maybe from its Nevada Gigafactory to uh, a Fremont factory. And also Tesla says their its goal is to find experienced technicians looking to take their careers to the next level. They will be supporting product and service development as well as being the first technicians to provide an in-person service to our new customers, our locations uh, in, that I just mentioned. So what they will do, this is going to give us a hint of how they, how soon or or in what way Tesla service technicians will bring, uh, what they will bring. Why is this important? Because if you are going to give Tesla semis to your customers, you need to provide service. And without service, you can't sell semis. This is why Tesla semi program is now looking more serious that Tesla is ramping up by hiring these service technicians. So they, Tesla says that uh, these te uh, service technicians will work alongside the engineering and development team to provide a direct product feedback, be the part of the first semi service technicians in the field. You see, so that means that this, the field is in California and Reno, Nevada. Tesla says they will support the Tesla Semi fleet that will move Tesla cargo between their own factories. So Tesla is going to be its Semi program's first main customers that Tesla Semis will start moving cargo between uh, Tesla's main factories. Uh, they, it looks like they're starting from Gigafactory 1. I think Tesla semis will move cargo batteries from uh, first Gigafactory in Nevada to uh, Fremont factory. Later, I will not be surprised if I see that, that Tesla is looking for semi service technicians uh, on the way to Texas, close to Austin, where Tesla has its also um, its uh, Texas Gigafactory. Tesla says uh, the service team technicians will support its first customers and repair their fleet as needed, travel to customers and work alongside their technicians in their workshops. Travel to customers, that means you have to sell the trucks. So do not be surprised if in the next couple of months we hear Tesla already selling its semi trucks, which is a huge thing. You know, friends, um, Tesla, uh, after years of delays, Elon Musk finally confirmed that Tesla semi electric trucks with 500 miles of range are going to be shipping to customers by the end of the year. Tesla has already been using the electric trucks in its own fleet for a while now, but the automaker is expected to start delivering some units to customers for the first time. It means that the automaker is going to uh, service those vehicles. Last year, Electric and Torque News reported that Tesla was looking to hire its first service technicians for Tesla Semi. The automaker was establishing what it called its Semi 
service program for the electric trucks. And then we'll later learn that Tesla was looking to take its mobile service strategy, which has provided a proof popular with Tesla owners and apply it to the semi service program. This is why, as you saw, one of the points was that Tesla uh, semi service technicians will travel to customers and work alongside their technicians in their workshops. Now, Tesla wrote on in the listing of jobs that we are looking for experienced service technicians to support the growth of the semi program. Then the automaker added those new technicians will be the first to serve the Tesla semi trucks for customers as I reported. Now Tesla lists the task that the technicians are going to be expected to do like I said in including being part of the semi service technicians in the field, traveling to the customers and uh, supporting Tesla service centers as needed. Now everything points to deliveries of the Tesla Semi starting very soon. Tesla is also hiring for its Semi production program in Nevada as it ramps up production of the electric trucks. So what can we make of this, friends? This is one segment where a new vehicle type like the Tesla electric semi will have an outsized effect on reducing oil usage. Tesla semis coming is very important. Semis use a lot of diesel. Semi trucks use a lot of diesel and they move most of the products we consume. Also think of the pollution. Diesel truck exhausts can be very bad. The exhaust really hurts local residents who breathe them, not to mention noise pollution from engine compression braking. In fact, I read a comment by Ben Crilly under Electric's coverage of this topic who wrote, Every diesel mechanic that I was friends with 20 years ago have all died early from cancer. That should be a clue. That's very scary, isn't it? Here's another consideration about the Tesla Semi. Tesla will have to get it right right out of the gate. Fleets and transport care a very great deal about the financials and the reliability. The 060 time is way down, some people say, but I don't know. Some people argue saying, um, they, they're saying that the diesel semi trucks are actually extremely efficient when you compare to other cars. This is what they say. I don't, uh, well, well, let's take a look. What do you think about this? They say a fright, um, oh, fright or freight. I don't know, friends, the real English. Anyway, so let's say the freight train consumes up to 30 gallons per mile. That's horrible. But when consider how much that train holds, it consumes a mere one gallon to hold one ton a distance of 475 miles. 475 miles per gallon per ton. It's the same deal for diesel semi trucks. A diesel semi only consumes three times the fuel per mile than a pickup truck or large SUV, but carries a whole lot more weight. A diesel semi can travel 250 miles per gallon per ton or payload. But you see, the problem is not a efficiency, it's total amount of fuel used. We use a lot of fuel, friends. Now, we move so many goods across the planet and across countries that its cumulative carbon footprint is atrocious. From production carbon to ocean carbon to semi-carbon to consumer carbon to disposal carbon, we create insane tons of carbon pollution. We need to clean up all of these pieces. And if every semi were replaced with an electric vehicle, oil demand would crash. And if we replace every vehicle with electric vehicles, oil demand crashes further. And if we can't come up with carbon fleet fuel for ocean lines, we again cut more carbon. Then carbon of production and disposal also needs to be somehow taken care of. We consume so many products that there are millions of semis moving all of this stuff. Best guess is over 20 million in the operation worldwide. I don't know. Do you have any idea of how many semis are in operation worldwide? All presumably running on tons of diesel fuel annually and unlike cars we can't get them to work from home in any case we should electrify all transport including semi trucks and trains and tesla's electric semi trucks will play a huge role in this and i'm very glad that tesla is now hiring semi service technicians to speed up the production and deliveries of first semi trucks. I think this is going to be very revolutionary. Let me know your thoughts, friends. Like this video if you found the information useful and helpful. I'm about to bring you very important breaking news about um, Tesla's uh, Canada Gigafactory. There is new information. There is hiring already going on. Anyway, so look for my next report. God bless everyone. Peace be with all of you. Like this video and I'll see you soon in our next report.